think we're recording. Got my new little Bluetooth thing. Feel like a true YouTuber, YouTuber right now, so that's cool. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be doing another uh, thread up shoe rescue unboxing for my channel. Um, basically, if you haven't seen my other ones, I will link them for you. Um, but basically you pay, there's been a little, they like changed up the prices a little bit. So it used to be $100 for 15 pairs of shoes. And then I think it went down to like $90, but then you had to pay tax on it. And when it was $100, you didn't have to pay tax on it. So it's roughly about the same price now. I think I paid $97 with the tax or shipping or whatever they decided to charge me with this time. Um, with that being said, so you get 15 pairs of shoes for $100 to $97. I should say that the other way, 97 to hundred dollars. Um, and I think it equates to like $6 and 50 cents a shoe, somewhere around there. Um, roughly around the same price that you would at uh, a thrift store, depending where you live. Now the thing is, is all these are mystery boxes. Pretty much these are shoes that, um, thread up basically accumulated that they had too much damage for them to sell or maybe they just had too many shoes uh, to process and they just kind of set them to the side and then they pass them on to resellers like us. Um, so this is my second shoe box that I've gotten so far. I live in Tucson, Arizona so most if not all my boxes come from Phoenix and it actually got here like super quick. My first one took a while but this one got here really quick. So if that's something that you want to watch, then keep on watching. And first I should say that my makeup is definitely, definitely out of my comfort zone, but I was having a lot of fun with it using my Kaleidos Flower Punk palette um, that is currently in my June Chop My Stash. And um, on Mondays, I don't, I don't work my, my full-time job, so I always try to like you know, make it fun, make it fun for videos. All right, let's get started with the, um, the shoe box. All right, so right on top, we have some, I believe these are Forever 21. Yes, Forever 21 little cage, uh, stacked wedges. Um, not something that I would sell or pick up uh myself because the retail value of these are relatively inexpensive to begin with um so most likely i'll just take these to like uptown cheapskate or plato's or something that um they take these mall brands um i don't know what size they are i'm not going to do too much investigating because i know that i won't keep them moving on um let's see we have these cork wedges, strappy sandals with these like laser cutouts. These are Makalu, California. Um, I've never heard of that brand before. I'll do some research before I, I know what I'm gonna do with it. Most likely it will probably be um, taken to the buy sell trade store um because i've never heard of this brand and it doesn't seem like it's super high quality but cute for the season that we're in all right another pair of wedges this was a very wedge heavy box um with this like burlap wedge with the embroidered heels on them and the suede straps we do have some toe marks, but I'm pretty sure I can get those out. Um, this is P by Pell Moda. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this brand. I want to say it's more boutique-y. Um, I can't quite remember. Uh, again, I will do my research and I will see what they uh, what they retail for and if it's worth um, me reselling it. Um, these are eight and a half. Oh, and I do see a little bit of the the wear right there. Again, something I can try to clean up if I feel like they are worth uh, reselling. Okay. 
Okay, so these are actually right on top of the box when I first opened it. There are these like leather slip-ons, kind of looks like something straight out of the 70s, um, and they're actually low cost. I don't know if you can see that. The little low cost alligator. Again, these could be cleaned up. I most likely will try to resell these. These are a size US 9, the Rochelle slip-ons. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a good like cleaning to them to make them look a little bit newer because honestly, they like there's not, although they look dirty, there's not much wear on them. So that's pretty cool. Um, and like the creasing right here isn't super duper terrible. So it's like, it's nice that it's broken in for you so that they're not uncomfortable, but it's not super terrible if that makes sense. Um, so I will probably resell those myself. Just make my little pile over there. Okay. So another exciting find um, was actually these free people um, slip on mules. The leather mules, leather feels really nice. Um, you can free people is kind of worn out, but you can still tell it's there. The toes aren't terrible on either one of them. They have a nice little stacked heel. Um, these are size 39. And yeah. Sorry, I was just reading what that said. You could basically peel this little sticker off and things would look good as new, almost. But yeah, so these I will sell myself. Um, I'll probably take a little bit of the Dr. Uh, Doc Martin Wonder Balsam um, to then just kind of shine them up a little bit. But yeah, I think this is a great addition to the box. All right, another uh, good addition were these cute little J. Crew. That's one of the newer J. Crew labels on there. Um, little suede kitten heels with an ankle strap. And to be honest, they look like they may have been worn once. Um, I mean, the heel tops look both really good. No issues there. Bottoms look pretty good. No toe. Uh, some toe indentations, but not bad at all. Um, these are size six, so I will be selling these myself. Okay, a fun find. I always love leopard. Leopard's neutral. You can't tell me otherwise. Um, these are actually Donald Pliner, which retail for a lot. The resale... I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell these myself because they're just so cute in my style. Um, so they're a little driving loafer cap hair leather. You can tell the driving loafer on the back because the heel, they have the leather so it doesn't ruin the back of your heel. Um, kind of looking around the calf hair because sometimes that's usually where the most wear is going to be, like little patches can form. Um, due to excessive wear, but I'm not seeing anything. The only like flaw that I'm seeing is on the patent leather, which to be honest, you're not really gonna see anyway when they're on. These are a size, I don't know. They're probably tucked, tucked far in there. Anywho, these will be something that I will sell myself just because this kind of goes with the aesthetic of what I resell anyways. Okay, so uh, moving on, here are a pair of little sock booties that these, I feel like, I don't know if they're still on trend. They definitely were on trend at least a year ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and these are actually uh, Via Spiga. You can see that. Kind of a cool little block heel um, slip on boot, little sock boot. And these are size eight. They do look a little bit dusty, but again, I, that's 
I think the camera is making it look, look worse than it is, but I can clean that up no problem. And um, I will definitely be selling these myself. They don't look like maybe worn once. Like they, they don't look like they're very worn at all. So I'll definitely be selling these. All right, I told you it was very wedge heavy um, in this box. We have some, these are actually Dansko's. I've never seen a Dansko quite like this before. Um, kind of the, the Dansko, um, what are we gonna call it? It's kind of like a rubber something. I don't know exactly what to call it, um, but with a little uh, like tortoise shell detail at the front, sling back shoe. Um, these are a size 40, which I believe is a nine US nine. So these I actually, um, I will, uh, do some, you know, the dance go twist test, make sure there's no dry rot on the inside. So I'll definitely do um, a good test for that. But most likely I'll sell these myself because I think they're pretty, they're pretty unique and cute and um, dance goes are still hopping at this point. All right. These I wish were my size because I've actually been looking at these for a while. These are Steve Madden's. Um, I love how the vamp comes down and like you can see your toes, like kind of like little toe cleavage, if you will. Um, these are super duper high. I would say these are probably like five inches tall. Um, these are the Varsity size eight in this like camel color. Um, the only real um, issue that I can see is there are there is some something on the suede right here, which I can take a suede cleaner and hopefully get that off. But everything else looks. Uh, maybe worn in the store like doesn't look like it's worn outside the heels are there's no issues with the heels anything like that these I will be selling myself right so now we have these who what where um, little stacked slides with a cute like little ruffle on the front uh, who what where is from Target it's one of their Target brands um, it is this really pretty like baby blue color some toe prints but again i think i could work that out with like a, uh, a suede cleaner you can tell there was somewhere on the bottom but not excessive um just because not saying that these aren't my aesthetics um but i don't think the resell value is going to be huge so i think i am going to send these to a buy, buy, sell trade store to see if they can sell them um, instead. All right, another pair of wedge, wedges. Uh, these are espadrille wedges, um, kind of this suede, no, canvas uh, front. These are actually Tom's, you can see that. They are seven and a half, sling back, very cute. Um, I know the Tom's, uh, like slip on little canvas shoes aren't really popular anymore but i think their other styles still do pretty well like the desert wedge which is like the enclosed all suede wedge um does pretty well um so again there's just some wear on the the canvas that i can just take a cleaning cloth to to get off other than that they look to be in good condition so i, I will sell these myself all right how many times do i have to say we have another wedge so we do have a stacked wedge um, kind of this faux uh, like snakeskin print with an ankle strap. Um, these are Alfani Step and Flex, so I think these are more of like a comfort wear shoe. Not necessarily the aesthetics of um, my closet. I mean, they are very cute, but not ne not necessarily a brand that I would sell myself. So these will go to a buy uh, the buy sell trade store. How many times do I need to say that? They're just gonna go off to another store. That's what I'm gonna say because I have a hard time saying buy, sell, trade store. Um, so I'm just not gonna say it again. They're just gonna go off to the store. Okay, few pairs left. So these are some really pretty dark chocolate boots with this um, like little calf strap, if you will. Uh, these are, if I'm not, mis not mistaken, sorry, my nose is itching. Um, 
you're not gonna be able to see all the way in there, but it is Banana Republic. It is Banana Republic. They are leather, um, seven and a half, I believe. Again, toes are a little bit scuffed, which is to be expected, um, but I'll just take some of that balsam and just clean it up. Um, kind of same thing with the other boot as well, but overall, like, relatively good condition. Um, I'm kind of torn with this. I'm going to check comps first to see what they're reselling for online. Um, it is out of boot season. I'm still a proponent of, of uh, listing stuff all season long, but again, sometimes you have to think of it, is it worth your time? Um, or if the other store will be buying them because it's out of season as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna have to do some research on that. Most likely I'll sell myself, most likely. All right, last pair of shoes. Something that I've never seen before, but they're they're really kind of cool. These are Toms as well. I've never seen this style of Toms before. This, I mean, they are. It's kind of like a like a chuckaboo almost. Let's seeing if there's a name to it. I don't, I don't see a name, but it has this like cool like quilted and like kind of puffy sides with the canvas the the um, monochrome um uh soles these are pretty cool again seven and a half so you could probably tell that these and the wedges probably came from the same person they look to be in great shape um a little bit of discoloration on this side right here again i can see if it's worth cleaning up I'll have to look at the comps of this, but this is a pretty unique style shoe. Um, they seem pretty comfortable as well. So uh, I probably will sell these myself. We'll see. All right, so uh, that is my Thread Up Shoe Rescue unboxing. I'd have to say this box is pretty good. Um, again, I get mine from Phoenix, which in the community, when you're like watching a lot of these unboxings, um, a lot of people say the Phoenix ones are the best. Um, I can't really compare because I've only got them from Phoenix. They they do seem pretty good. Um, I'm going to be listing majority of these shoes myself. You know, pending comps and whatnot. But I'm, I'm counting over there. There's one, two, three, four. At least four pair that I know I'm going to be um, taking somewhere else to uh, sell instead of listing them myself. But I'm pretty happy with Fox so far. So, that's it. Um, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in these um, these types of videos. I also do beauty content. Um, and yeah, I never really know how to close these things, but that's what it is. Okay, bye. <laughs>